Hey, what's going on guys? Mark here. Today we got ourselves a new update as most of you guys might be getting yourselves pretty soon, but we got 2020 12.5 and that includes a new dash cam viewer and maybe a couple other things. So let's take a look and see what's in there. All right, so checking out the release notes here, you can see that there's a dash cam viewer and there's also out of order supercharger stalls stations. Now identify the number of out of order stalls to view the current availability. Tap the supercharger station map pin. And that I think was in there before. There was some stuff in there about that before, but for whatever reason, we never got the notice of uh, third party supercharging or third party charging stations, but that's okay. Uh, just some Bluetooth uh, improvements on the previous release notes, improved voice commands. Let's take a look through the menu and see if there's anything else in here that we notice. Uh, so once we jump in here, uh, the main section here looks pretty good. I'm curious, did they ever change the air conditioner? Nope. I always request this over here that this air conditioner rear vent be put over here because it's where it should be. Anyway, uh, going into that, we've got uh, quick controls. Everything looks about the same there. Um, the lights, locks, display, you know, no real big change in that. All right, so driving, we got chill and standard still, comfort standard and sport, regenerative braking. That's all the same. Nothing added in there. Autopilot, let's see if there's anything in here. Nothing. Uh, customized summon, same. Standby mode, that's the same. Speed limit warning mode. Forward collision, obstacle, nothing really going on in there. Anything new in there. So uh, avoid ferries, safety and security. That looks like the same. Save clips on honk. Overheat protection on, off. Service, towing, and software. So we did just get that one there. So that is it. So nothing really changed in here except for uh, the sentry cam. Oh, look at that. Ah, there it is. So up here, you can, t that's just turning on sentry cam on and off. The icon is different. If you saw my other video, and just to clarify on that, we don't know, none of us know if MGM actually sent a, uh, a cease and desist to Tesla. I was just assuming because they changed it and someone else said that they did. And during that time, Tesla sent me one as well for using something of theirs. So I was putting it, all the pieces together and that's that. So let's look at it here. Once you click the icon up top up there, the the settings say save footage and launch viewer. Now, it used to be able to just tap that if someone pulled out in front of you. So you're gonna have to utilize the honk a little bit more in order to do that. Let's beep. Hmm, hey, there it goes. All right, so it took a little bit of a time there. The car must be in park to view. Okay, let us know that. So let's tap that and well, it's downloading it first. We're going to have to wait for it to download. Once it completes its download, then we'll uh, jump in there. All right, it's completed. Let's tap it, and we're going to launch the viewer. Wow, it's 10 minutes of that. Rather than it being separate files, oh, this is going to be nice. Or is it? Oh, that is so much better. But is there a way? What's this ellipsis do? Sentry. Dash cam. So we have different areas we can get into. Uh, that ellipsis, the, the dashes with the, the three dots up top, and that will let you get into different things. So you can see the other stuff that's already saved on there. So you can see front, right, rear. That's pretty nice to be able to do that. But can we save them or identify them later on? Like, for instance, this March 19th, 2020, I've got a, I'm driving down the interstate here, and I think I had phantom branking happen here. I was just trying to document it for the service tech that but that viewer is smooth. I mean, if you really want to, you can come in here and and view it right away. But there's no way to save it or or you know identify it. Um, I guess you could write down the date and time up here for the date 8:31 like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to see like March 19th at 6 p.m. I like it. Uh, so the way that you're going to have to be able to save these videos is look on here and say like, okay, March 11th at 4.37 p.m. And then when you download it to your computer, you're going to have to go in and, and save that file to your computer there. Switching in between all that is amazing. Uh, now, there are a few apps that you can get to, to do the same thing here. And I don't think that, that this is going to eliminate those uh, because there is still a need to be able to get this footage off your phone, maybe send it to an email Whereas this only lets you view it. If something immediately happens, I guess you can also come in and record the screen with your phone. Other than that, tapping between each one of these is pretty sweet. And I like it. I like to be able to do that. And it's synced up the time so that it works really seamlessly. So if I look at my left and then I jump to my front, as soon as I get out of camera view, there I am. 
that's pretty cool. I, I think that's pretty awesome there. Again, I, with, with not being able to flag it or mark it as a, an important one, we're still going to go back to the computer and save it there, which is still good. That's not bad at all. Wow, that's pretty cool. So we were talking about sentry mode here, and I want to see what it looks like when we have the new sentry camera icon. Now, it is now the portal turret. That's what we're looking at here on screen here. Amazing. All right, so you know the next thing we have to do, once we get an update, we're gonna go see if it will autopilot. We're gonna take it to the 90 degree turn over there and check it to see how well it does. I'll narrate it and let you guys know how it does. So we'll be back in just a second. All right, so we're gonna get over here and test out the road that I normally go on after I get an update. We had the caution sign come up on the screen there and not too sure why, but uh, all right, here we go. I don't see anything new. Uh, the sun's still there, see the trash cans. It's always nice, you know when trash day is. All right, so we're on autopilot. Uh, trash cans still show up. That one showed up as a cone, it was a recycling bin. And we're gonna go over to the Will It Autopilot Street over here, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty smooth around that turn there. We got the warning there, that was good. We got the warning for the stop signs. That wasn't showing up in the previous release versions there, uh, and I'm glad that's doing that, even though you know it was, it, it's perfect timing. It actually is good. Uh, it, it is enough time for you if you're not paying attention and you're on uh, the auto drive or the autopilot feature there that it will wake you up and do that. That's pretty cool. I'm glad about that. But it doesn't work if you're not in auto drive. That's the only thing if you don't remember some of the videos there. All right. So this is our road right here. This is, um, it's just a road that if you uh, look at it on the map, you'll see that it's just got a 90 degree turn in there and it's, that's about it. So we're going to hit it. Uh, speed limit is 35, and I do the recommended turn speed up here that's on the cautionary sign. Uh, white's regulatory and yellow is cautionary. All right, so we got a beep letting us know to keep our hands on the steering wheel. And it's indicating 15 for this, so we're going to start bringing our speed down uh, at least to, I think I've been doing it at 20. I don't have anybody behind us, so we'll do it at 20. There we go. All right, we're at 20. It's clearly slow if you were to drive this yourself you would probably be about 25 or 30 on its own all right it's starting to break the turn and a little bit early uh-oh had to take it off i was getting into the edge there so on that pass there nothing has changed on it let me do a little u-turn and a loop and we'll get back there plus there was a car coming so it was kind of hard for me to fully uh let it go especially with it cutting on that that turn a little bit sharp on the inside there all right here we go speed back down we're going to do 20 it couldn't handle it at that so we're going to do 20 there it is cutting over early again same results right into the edge of the guardrail there uh, so this road will it autopilot nope same exact results it's pretty much doing the same thing as it has before and that's about it all right so let's check this road out this is one of the other roads that will do not real windy but this one's just enough to see from my memory if it has gotten any better. So we're on autopilot. The speed limit is 25. We're gonna match that. There we go. All the garbage cans showing up really reminds me of trash day. Like, oh crap, I gotta put my trash out. Or it's too late, one of the two. All right, so this one here always takes this just like that. Yep, it runs out there almost like hitting rumble strips and then cuts back normal. So. Uh, there's no difference in the autopilot that I can tell that uh, that has been done since the last update. Um, at least, you know, looking at it like this, you can clearly tell that there's nothing uh, that has been really big, you know, big change. All right, one last little section that I normally try this in is right over these railroad tracks. I usually set it right at the speed limit and come up here, and as I approach this, it'll start flashing on the screen. Yep, it started flashing on the screen, and then put a little bit of pressure. There it goes. Way smoother than it was before. Wow. Well, that's going to finish up this video here. Uh, new dash cam viewer, sentry mode icon has changed as we looked at the other day. And I've got another video coming out, hopefully maybe today or tomorrow, or probably more than likely by the end of the week, that autopilot, that hardware 2.5 computers do see the cones now. A friend of mine is going to let me borrow his, uh, his Model 3 performance. 
and we're going to test it out and see what is seen in there comparatively to what is seen on ours. All right, so I want to thank you guys for watching, liking, subscribing, hitting the bell button, and as always, check out some of the links in the description. I put some helpful information there uh, if you'd like to see any more of the videos, and as well, some more of these videos. Hit that bell button to get notified when I do put some more up. You know how it goes.